My name is Janine Bowling, and I am a deaconess from Brooklyn, New York. I work as a deaconess at St. Peter's in Brooklyn, and I also work helping college students by teaching them and course designing. Additionally, I work for the State University of New York, where I help high schoolers choose which college to go to. Today, we're going to be reading one of my favorite books, Whistle for Willie, and it is written and illustrated by Ezra Jack Key. What I love about this book is that in it, the little boy tries and tries and tries and tries to reach a goal. So let's see what he does. Oh, how Peter wished he could whistle. He saw a boy playing with his dog. Whenever the boy whistled, the dog ran straight to him. Peter tried and tried to whistle, but he couldn't. So instead, he began to turn himself around. Around and around he whirled, faster and faster. When he stopped, everything turned down and up and up and down and around and around. Peter saw his dog, Willie, coming. Quick as a wink, he hid in an empty carton lying on the sidewalk. Wouldn't it be funny if I whistled, Peter thought? Willie would stop and look all around to see who it was. Peter tried again to whistle, but he still couldn't. So Willie just walked on. Peter got out of the carton and started home. On the way, he took some colored chalks out of his pocket and drew a long, long line right up to his door. He stood there and tried to whistle again. He blew till his cheeks were tired, <sighs> but nothing happened. He went into his house and put on his father's old hat to make himself feel more grown up. He looked in the mirror, trying to practice whistling. Still no whistle. When his mother saw what he was doing, Peter pretended that he was his father. He said, I've come home early today, dear. Is Peter here? His mother answered, why no, he's outside with Willie. Well, I'll go out and look for them, said Peter. First, he walked along a crack in the sidewalk. Then he tried to run away from his shadow. He jumped off his shadow, but when he landed, they were together again. He came to the corner where the curtain was, and who should he see but Willie? Peter scrambled under the curtain. He blew and blew, and suddenly out came a real whistle. <whistles> Willie stopped and looked around to see who it was. It's me. Peter shouted and stood up. Willie raced straight to him. Peter ran home to show his father and mother what he could do. Peter's mother asked him and Willie to go on an errand to the grocery store. He whistled all the way there and he whistled all the way home. great book. I have a question for everybody. After reading about Peter and his whistling and how he tried and tried, how do you learn new things? What do you do when you come to an obstacle if you can't do it the first time? What do you do to learn new things? Answer that with your family. Today, we're going to end with a prayer. So please repeat after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for helping us learn new things. Please help us to keep trying even if we mess up. In Jesus' name, amen.